one of these. This is the y-axis, uh, and I guess it would be the bearing block. The Harbor Freight didn't really have bearings. But. Yeah, I've already got my first screw up here. I was just boring these uh, pockets in this bearing block. It's going to have a set of thrust bearings on each side. It's got you know two steel washers and a thrust bearing. It'll have a set on that goes on each side. See, those are perfect. But I just noticed when I went to put my uh, wall screw in, I was going to put the nut on there just to kind of try it out. Well, holy smokes, look at that. My threads are about an eighth of an inch short. I got to add another, oh, three sixteenths or so threads so that my um, nut will put pressure on the, the uh, thrust bearings. And this is the thrust bearings I used. You can pause and see if you can see that. It's a set. It comes with the washers and the bearing. You, you need two sets, one on each side. So anyway, first screw up. Let's backtrack a little. Well, I took a day or two off from this. I've been thinking. Try and think, what's the best way to extend the threads another eighth of an inch or so? The thought of putting this back in the lathe and trying to sink the uh, threading back to where I was, I've never done that. I don't even really, it may be easy, I don't know, I've never done it. So I thought, well, the, there's probably about three options here. I could chuck it in the lathe, try to learn how to sink my threads back. I could make a uh, washer that took up that slack, which I, I really didn't want to do that. I kind of wanted to have just the threads. So my other option would be uh, dies and um, I was digging through there I've got a 3 8 24 die and um, that might be the best 
option. I can add a little bit of threads. And I guess actually the fourth option is whatever I figure out, I uh, just fix it and never even tell you I made a mistake. All right, I'm not going to hide anything from you guys. I'm going to attempt to fix this with the die. Uh, I had the die in my toolbox I found first. I've had it for a year as part of a cheap, cheap set. It says Taiwan on it, and it doesn't even want to thread on there. This one is a Irwin brand, and it actually says USA on there. And it, it seems to go on just fine. So I don't know if I've used this in the past and it's just wore out or who knows, maybe it was never any good, I don't know. I'm gonna try the die.